Hello, hello, and welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to be covering Hearts of Iron 4 and how to survive as Ethiopia. My name is Norton Jack, and you're back on the channel. This video mainly is going to cover how to basically defend against the Italians and then do the counter-offensive in order to push them out of entirely from Somalia as well. So we're going to be covering that in quite a bit of detail, so hopefully the video is not as long as it should be. But I'm um, digressing, so we'll get straight into it. The first thing you're going to want to do is get the second Italian Ethiopian War focus. So we'll go straight through that because you get the morale boost, which gives you the war support and the army organisation regain. And it also gives you a defence against major countries for the 180 days. Manpower is a lovely bonus as well, so why not? Now, straight on from that, you're going to go to rally around the Emperor, but we'll come to that when we need to, because we need Halle Selesi as a field marshal, because marshals at the moment. So, we're going to create two combat groups here. We're going to create this one here, and we're going to draw a fallback line to Gondor, and yeah, pull them back. Now, these will be immediately attacked. Straight away. I'm also going to put them in there. So, you're going to have to pull these back straight away as soon as the Italians start to advance. And the commander you're going to want to have is this one here. Ayalu Biru. He's got the Mountaineer trait with the bonus on attack and defence as well as movement. Now, the attack doesn't matter at the moment, but we want the defence. Because we're fighting in the mountainous terrain here in Gondor and Marcel. So, get them to pull back. Create another army group out of these. And you're going to want to just basically create that there. Stick that in there. So you've got five units in here. And the one that you want to go for for him is this one here. I'm not even going to try and pronounce that name. But yeah, it's a pretty cool name. But you want him because of that. The infantry defense bonus. I'm going to put him in charge here because he can be used to particularly assist these. And when, when Ausa does actually capitulate because the will so the italians last time capitulate they'll capitulate and then the italians will move in so what we want to do is we want to force them in there and take over also as well it's not like there's any bonus it just sort of takes away their um supplies a bit more so we're going to want basically the idea is just to stretch the italian lines thin as possible so that they run out of supplies and we're going to try and just basically wear them down till it gets to around about this one here level eight so it's going to take a while, you can say it's 122 days to the next escalation, so it's going to be... Hopefully it's not going to be a long video, but yeah, we'll um, cross the bridge when it comes to it. But the next thing you want to do is go in your research, get your support weapons, and get your weapons won. Right, and the last thing is basically create the army group down here, create another, and you're going to put a what, Nasibu Ziamil. Zia, Zia Manuel in charge. I'm so bad with names. And you want to put him in charge because he's a hill fighter. Now that's desert, so we're going to want to pull back here. This is your main defensive line here. Because it is a hill terrain. Pull them back. As you can see, all hills. So that's why he's useful there. And another thing, once you actually get a bit of political power, the one thing you want to do is you want to call Malako Safo from retirement. He's a general, but we're not going to use him. What we're going to use is that extra unit. And in terms of resources, just get your stale from the Soviet Union. Right, and that should be that. I'm going to start. And we're going to try and move the troops back. As I said, they're going to get assaulted straight away. I'll have to wait. There we go. So we want to draw these back. They're naturally falling back. I don't think the Italians really want to fight down here. It's good. There we go. They're pulling back. Good. Right, everything's going to plan accordingly. They're getting attacked, but I just want to pull them back. So they're moving in there. So there we go. Everybody's in position, that's a good. 
once these fall back, once this troop falls back, then we can create an army line at the front line that we run. Right, there we go. We'll just create the front line so they'll shift between the two places. Right, now we've got our 11 manpower, uh, political power, I should say. Getting wrong there. We want to get Black or Sappho, as I mentioned. Takes a little while to fire once you've clicked it. There we go, he's back. And we've got our extra unit down here, and we're going to this army. Just so it adds a bit more defensive structure to there. As you can see, we'll hold them quite well in the mountains. Mainly because of the bonuses he's got, and if we need any troops, we can push these up here. So I think, to be honest, I'm actually going to move that front line a little bit. But there. Them. Because I want to take these um, these areas quickly. Oh, there we go. So that's fired, and you want to just move in straight away. So you see the little gap here, so we're going to move in and try to cover that and we want to keep this mountain province because that means we can fight in the mountains again. So we're moving in. I think our southern... yeah, our southern areas are still holding on quite well. Not even getting attacked actually, I should say. Right, so we've took that. I don't really think that matters, but we'll take it. And... yeah. I don't know why it does that, but for some reason it does do that. Right. Oh. Right, so we shall get rid of that front line for them, because we don't want them moving at all. Keep them there. keep these here as well and in terms of um, we want to get the ambush trait for him when we can obviously we're still five short but we just want to keep this basically protected these areas the more they fight in the mountains as you can see we've got the terrain bonuses and they've obviously got minus 50% attack and breakthrough so it's better for us to fight in the mountains They've still got the terrain efficiencies. Right, and um, we'll create our front line down here as well. Oops. Sort that back out. So this is essentially what it looks like when the war starts, and you're about a few months in. This is what you want to keep it, and you see how it's all green? This is how you want to have it so far. You will get the few odd battles that you look like you're going to lose, but you're command power should be increasing quite well because the more this war goes on for every time you get the gradual escalation it happens so he's got nothing for now and you've got level three which can affect your focus strain stuff but it doesn't matter when we've got this we hold the north we hold the south that increases the escalations as well so it makes it faster so we just want to keep rising until we get level 8. Level 8 is when we're going to do the counter-attack and try to take these provinces here. But for now, we're just going to try and hold the line. Obviously, we're still waiting for this to fire as well because you get the bonuses here. I shall just speed it up a little bit. And then get hit. It's better for us because we've got more entrenchment. And then we've got our little bonus. And as I said, straight on to rally around the emperor because we want to see as a field marshal. Yeah, and we still don't have our factories available because we've got Elsa. As I said, you might have to micromanage a little bit, so you're just going to have to keep moving your troops around to try and fill in little gaps when you think you might lose. So you just keep moving them around. Right, 
Right, so for some reason we've got our factory back, so we're just going to, as I said, do it again, go back to the Soviet Union. We're not bothered about building things at the moment because we can't, essentially. Try and keep the pressure on as well because we've lost that province. I'm going to stop them from basically moving there. Don't want them moving around. I don't know why that keeps happening, but it's the front line. Where it was. Which one's the one that's moving? Right, we're gonna keep him moving. Right, there we go. Um, in terms of this, obviously you've also got that sort of stuff. We we want to try and keep a, a political equilibrium. I mean, it is good at the moment that the Mesafinet are in charge because you get the extra little bonuses for defence and stuff. But mainly you want to try and centralise as much as possible. Uh, they're going to reinforce that, so it's fine. And I want to put them down here, win this battle, and then send them over. Down here, we've still got holding the line quite nicely. Um. Uh, to be honest, this is a random fire event, so it doesn't happen all the time. Um. But I'd rather have the command power. As I said, I want to keep a political equilibrium with them as well. We want to try and get it down here, past this line. And I'll actually get the um, road development, because... Oh, actually, no. No, 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 leave it. It's going to make it worse. But anyways, once that's fired, we can put all these in the army group now. Well... And then we can have Halle Silesi as the field marshal, and now we've got the extra command power, we can basically get him defensive doctrine, and we can get the charismatic. That means the recovery rate's faster, and we are better at defending, which is exactly what we want. And the more fighting that happens, obviously, the better our generals get. So, yeah, level 3 now from level 2. Uh, where are these at? Level 2, yeah. And in terms of the next one, you want to get the Empress Stairs for the focus. Because as you can see, the little bonuses you get, the political power, the wasp hook in, and the stability all add up. And it helps to basically fight the Italians a bit more. And then obviously you've got your officer corps, but uh, in terms of military high command, you want to get Wahid Pasha when we can, but we don't have the command power. And you want to get Connor, Connor Volov, because he helps... Basically, hide from the air yeah, support. Makes us stronger defenders, and that's exactly what we want. As I said, just keep using the command power for last stand and stuff like that. It allows you to filter your troops around. Send them there. Send our best troop here. Uh, sometimes it does this, I don't know why. There we go. We're holding the line at all points. Let's see what the death toll is. They're starting to lose more troops now, so that's good. It means our army is actually getting better. As you can see, they're getting more, like more regulars now. means they're better at fighting and as long as they're getting better as well as the generals it's fine these I will be moving them down here as well so it's just it's just a case of basically just keep moving troops around and trying to find out who's gonna hold the line who isn't so it's a little bit of a struggle but you can, you can do it
Uh, and then do last stand again. As I said, you got you don't be afraid to use the command power. And we've got the Emperor Stage, so that's good. And you want to do... The way it happens is you want to get the Yabuna, then go to the Alliance Stance Firm, and then go learn from the enemy and just go all the way down here. That's your first one, because you want him as your uh, advisor. Said we keep moving the troops around. Keep an eye on the south as well. Right, that's one of our generals wounded, but he should be fine. Right. Still maintain the lines as much as possible. We're doing quite well, to be honest. I mean, it looks like we're going to break a couple of times, but we're, we're holding. Um, mainly what you want. And most of the troops will do most of the work anyways, you've just got to hit the retreat. So we've lost a little bit here, so we're going to try and maintain. The, the idea is just don't allow them to overrun your line, so just keep trying to... It's a war of attrition. You're just going to keep going and keep going until you can... Hold them off effectively. As I say, you just keep moving troops around as and when needed. It's obviously getting worse for the Italians because it's escalation level 3 now. Lost that. Might be able to take that back, I'm not sure, but lightly. Nah, it's unlikely, so we'll just leave it there. I don't want them to attack there, I want them to retreat. Get the last stand on. Just need to hold our lines as much as we can. Right, get them moving there. Right, so we're doing quite well. Right, so yeah, good. We've got the Abona, and now we've got the line stands firm. So you have to do it in that order, particular order that's going to be done. But once you've got the Abona, you can then get him. It's Abona. Uh, Relos, I think, is the fourth. He gives you the Defensive War Stability Modifier, which is great, and Resistance Growth, which also affects their supplies, and our Legitimacy Gain as well. So he's pretty pretty useful to have on hand. Uh, in terms of the other ones, once we've got enough of the political power, you can also go to the Empress. She has the enemy air support as well as the non-combat. That's good to have. As you can see, it's already affecting the front line.